Hi, Phil with Xenonsupply.com. Today we have a 2011 Hyundai Sonata we'll be installing HIDs on the low beams, as well as showing you the installation process for the accessory wiring harness. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and get started. Let's take a look at what we need to perform this installation. What we have here is an H7 premium HID conversion kit from Xenonsupply.com. Uh, today we're using the 6000K color temperature for the bulbs and we are using the premium slim ballast upgrade with the double-sided mounting tape for an easier installation. This kit does come with the accessory wiring harness for pulling power directly from your battery. And let's see what tools we'll need. We're using some diamond cutters just to clean up uh, the zip ties we'll be using for the wiring. A 10 millimeter socket and socket wrench. A one inch unibit with a drill. Uh, you can use a one inch unibit or a one inch hole saw to drill holes into your headlight dust covers. And that should be it. To remove the old halogen bulb, twist the cap counterclockwise to unlock and pull away. Once removed, unplug the stock H7 headlight connector, press down on the wire clip, and release the bulb from the socket. Now that we have the dust cover removed, we can go ahead and drill a one inch hole to allow the wiring to get through with the grommet. We're going to be using the one inch unibit. You can also use the one inch hole saw available at any hardware store. Let's go ahead and install the H7 HID bulb here on the driver's side. For the driver's side, you will be using the two H7 spade connectors. The blue is positive, black is ground. And connecting the harness here to the accessory wiring harness later on in the installation. Make sure when you insert the bulb, you're inserting with the modified portion of the bulb facing 6 o'clock, and you bring it in this way. Let's go ahead and do that now. Make sure the bulb's in securely. For the connector here, the right side here where I'm pointing to is the ground wire, and the left side here is your positive wire. So, black wire first. The blue is your positive on the left side. Go ahead and tuck the wiring in, get your dust cover back on. You can pull the wiring here to get the dust cover closer. Twist it and lock. For installation with the accessory wiring harness, you will not be using the two H7 leads on the passenger side or the connection that goes to the stock ballast or the H7 factory connector. The accessory wiring harness will be providing power for both your light and the ballast. So, you can tuck these one in, tuck in your connector, pull on the straps to loosen the wire, Close the lid. Included in the HID kit 
is the accessory wiring harness you will use to connect directly to the battery to run the HID system. As you can see here, we've already laid one across the chassis how we intend to install it. On the driver's side, we have the 25 amp fuse with the power wire that connects directly to the battery using a 10 millimeter bolt off the terminal. On the driver's side, you have the signal connector for the relay, the driver's side ballast power, and the negative wire that needs to be grounded to the chassis. On the passenger side, we have a similar setup but with less wires. Because we are getting signal from the driver's side, we only have a connection for the ballast and negative wire that needs to be grounded to the chassis. We're now going to be connecting the power wire the positive terminal of the battery here using the 10 millimeter socket and socket wrench. We're actually going to be feeding this wire up and under so it comes through this port right here for a cleaner look on the installation. Feed it right through, lay it on top. There you go and connect our signal wire to the connector coming from the HID ballast, or I'm sorry, the HID bulb on the driver's side. Tuck that one down as well. The ground wire on the driver's side is going to connect to this bolt here, um, underneath this headlight housings connector here. We'll be using the 10 millimeter socket to loosen. We're going to be taking the ground wire and actually running it under to hide the wire during installation. This connector is actually going to go underneath the plastic of the headlight housing so it gets better contact with the metal surface for the ground. Once you have the bolt in part way, you can arrange your wire so it's out of reach, out of view, like that, and then tighten it back up. On the passenger side here, as you can see, we've run the wiring harness underneath the stock airbox, along the top of the radiator, and brought it around to the passenger side bulb area. We're going to be using the same bolt that we did on the driver's side to mount our ground wire using the same installation method. Let's go ahead and mount the upgraded premium slim ballast for the HID installation. We'll be using the 3M double-sided mounting tape for the install. We're going to be mounting to the location here in front of the driver's side wheel well on the flat surface. Now we've already gone ahead and cleaned the surface here as well as cleaned the surface of the ballast for the best uh, mounting. Let's go ahead, remove one side of the foam pad. Just stick it onto the surface of the ballast. Make sure you got a good 
connection here. And we're going to be installing it with the wires facing towards the outside of the chassis. Right in there. Make sure you push down to get the best contact with the surface. And that one's not going to be going anywhere. With the ballast now mounted securely to the chassis, we can go ahead and connect the two sets of wires from the ballast of the HID bulb. Now, from the accessory wiring harness, you have your power wire. It's going to connect to the wire coming from the HID ballast. Make sure it snaps into place, and that one should be set to go. The wires coming from the actual HID bulb, you have the male and female connector that connects for power from the ballast. Like we said before, the last connection coming from the HID bulb will not be used. You can wrap this one up and leave it securely in place here somewhere in the chassis. Three. You see? Mm -hmm. One connection here. We're just about done here. We've gone ahead and cleaned up our wiring made sure that the polarity of the system is right and the lights work. Let's go ahead and see what they look like. 